Today on our 2017 Mazda 3, you're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with 4 pole flat trailer connector, part number 118405. This is what our wiring looks like when it's installed. This is going to give us the proper lighting functions to safely tow our trailer down the road. It's going to give us both turn signals, our running lights, brake lights, and our ground. It's also going to come with a nice dust cap to cover your connections to reduce any moisture, dirt, and debris from getting in and ruining the connections there. As far as the installation goes, it is a fairly simple installation. It's going to hook directly to your taillight wiring or your factory wiring on your vehicle and then to your taillights. You're going to have a power wire that's going to run to the battery in the front of the vehicle. You're also going to have a fuse that's going to fuse that link. Now what I really like about this wiring is it's going to have a converter box and what the converter box does is it's going to prevent any back feed from getting to your factory wiring in your vehicle. What that means is if your trailer wiring has a short in it, the converter box is going to stop that short from getting to your factory wiring and ruining that wiring. The good thing about the power wire being ran up to your battery is it's not drawing any power from your tail lights if your trailer happens to have a few extra lights on it. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let me show you just how easy it is to get installed. First thing we need to do is this panel that runs right along the back here. We're going to take either a pick or you can use a small screwdriver and you're going to have little fasteners that run along the front side of it. We need to pop those off just like that. And you're just going to pry out the center. So we just need to get it out enough. You'll see three nuts. There's one here, one on top, and one on the other side. We need to remove that to remove our tail light. Take a 10 millimeter socket, we'll remove our nut. We'll go ahead and unplug our wiring. We're going to pull our tail light towards the back. You may need to use a little plastic trim panel tool. We'll just work the tail light out. We want to pull back on our tail light. Set our tail light aside. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the passenger side. Next, I'm going to either use a wire hanger, uh, airline tube. Uh, what I like to do is take a string, put a nut or a bolt on it, something that's a little has a little bit of weight. I'm going to drop it right down the hole, and it's going to come right out the bottom. I'm going to take the end of my wire that needs to connect to this. Just make a loop like this, and this side's going to have two. So I'll just feed one end like this. Tighten it down. Pull it up like that. Now I'm going to take the ends of my two plugs. I'm just going to match them up. And then we can plug in the other two ends back into our tail light and then reinstall our tail light. Slide our tail light in place and then put our three nuts on on the inside. Next, we're going to mount our converter box. This isn't really flat right on here, but right on this back side, it's flat. But because it's open to the elements, we're going to need to clean it off. So let's use a rag, paper towel, with some rubbing alcohol. We'll make sure that area is clean good. We're going to take our double-sided tape that comes in our kit, on our converter box. Make sure you press it into place. Move the other side. Take this. And we're going to push it into place. Next, we're going to take the red wire coming off of our converter box. We have butt connectors that come in our kit, however they're not waterproof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them out for waterproof or heat shrink butt connectors. Go ahead and take one, put it on the end of our red wire, grab it down, and we're going to take the black wire that comes in our kit, and you just strip one end, and we're going to add this to the other side, grab it down, and then we'll take a heat source and shrink up our butt connector. We're going to mount a ground wire. We're going to use a self-tapping screw, quarter inch socket. You want to make sure it's mounted to metal. I'm going to go right up here on the bottom panel of the body. Next we're going to take our green wire 
It's going to our passenger tail light and our four pole wire. And you're gonna have little plastic brackets that hold your the bottom of your fascia in place. So we need to go behind our hitch. We're gonna leave our four pole wire hang here and take our green wire, keep routing it over to our passenger side. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Just gonna put a little loop like that in our wire, stick it through the nut, just like that. So I'm gonna take some zip ties and I'm just gonna zip tie around my wiring up here in this bracket on my fascia, just to kind of hold my wiring in place. Now we're just gonna match our plug to our wire, whichever one it goes to. And then we can reinstall our tail light. Once you have your passenger side tail light in place, you can go ahead and reinstall your interior panels. Next, I'm gonna run my power wire to the front of the vehicle. Let me get that done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. My power wire, you wanna make sure you stay away from anything hot or moving. Found some existing wiring, zip tied it right here. Went over top of this brace. Zip tied it right here to this hard line. Went over the top. All I did was ran it right underneath this whole panel that runs right up to the front of the vehicle. See, I did the same thing here. Wrap my string with my nut on it. Now I'll take my wire, tie a little knot on it like that. Then we'll go up top and pull it up. Now we'll say double check to make sure your wire is not hung up on anything down there before you do any cutting. I routed my wire right around the back of the battery box to my positive side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut my wire up there, shrink it back. Now we'll add our heat shrink buck connector. Turn it into place. Then you're gonna take your fuse holder, cut the wires in half. We're going to strip back both sides. We're going to add ring terminal on one and the other end into our butt connector. Now we'll take our heat source and shrink that butt connector. Next, take a 12 millimeter socket. We're going to remove this nut right here on our positive side of our battery. We're going to go ahead and add our ring terminal. You want to make sure that the fuse is not in the holder when you make this connection. Sure. Nut back in place. Once your connection is made, you can go ahead and add your fuse. Our customer chose to use two brackets to give our four pole a more permanent mounting location. And you can mount it up like this, you can mount it down like this if you want. I'm going to mount it like this. It's going to come with a hose clamp. Feed it in, tighten it down. Get it tight, we can cut off our excess. We're gonna mount our four pole bracket. And we can mount it either down like this or up like this. Since my wire is coming down behind my fascia, I'm gonna put it like this. Kind of hide my wire there. Tighten it into place. Add in our four pole. Now we can test everything out to make sure everything's working properly. Brake lights, left turn, right turn, running lights. That'll do it for a look at and installation on the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118405 on our 2017 Mazda 3.